I don't know where to start with this one. Oh, I'm absolutely fuming. I'm a I'm absolutely fuming. I'm genuinely angry. I haven't felt like this in quite some time. Um, if you were watching the stream, I'm still live, but if, if you were watching that, you would have seen at the end. I mean, I think I turned it off after 70 minutes. I haven't turned off an Arsenal match for God knows how long. Years. I turned this one off. Um, okay. Gunnosaurus died for this. Gunnosaurus. Okay. Um, first of all, I think the best thing I can do at this point, let, let's go ahead and take a look at the Premier League table, shall we? So obviously I, I, I'm looking at it myself. Um, we want to go to, where is it? Tables. So Leicester are top. Good for them. Arsenal. Oh, where are you? Let's have a look, shall we? Let's have a look. Oh, we're down in 11th. Amazing. It's incredible. Three losses in the last four Premier League games. To put that into perspective, that's the same record as West Brom. They've lost three in their last five. Four, sorry. I just... Sheffield United lost three in their last four games. Arsenal, three losses in the last four. I, uh, don't, I don't want to look at it. I just I'm going to turn it off. Um, so let, let's try and review this game because we conceded in the 46th second, I believe it was. And funny story, I missed it. It was that early on in the game. I actually missed the goal. It's the first time I've missed a goal in an Arsenal game since I've been doing the live watch alongs. Basically because the greedy bastards have decided to make this a pay-per-view game. Luckily, that's going away after the international break. But yes, they're bastards. They are just stealing money. Who wanted to pay 15 quid for this game? If you paid 15 pounds for this game, we can't be friends. It's a joke. I'm not paying that. So I went for the totally legal stream option. And let's just say every stream was either five minutes behind, lagging, whatever. I missed that opening goal. It was ruled offside. I, I don't know. I mean, I I've seen the replay since. I can understand why Aston Villa fans would be angry by that, but not anymore. You're 3-0 winners eventually, so who cares? But let's just say, fine, it was offside. It blocked his vision. No goal. We then went and conceded three more, and it could have been worse. It could have been four. It could have been five. We've got Aubameyang, one of the best strikers we've ever had at the club, playing on the left side. Lacazette. Good old Lacazette, eh? What a player. Every single game, missing sitters. His header in that first half. That's one all. We're back in the game. But no, he can't even get a header from less than 10 yards out on target. That was genuinely harder to miss than to get on target. It's mind-blowing. It's actually mind-blowing how this guy is getting into our team right now. He offers nothing going forward whatsoever. The only thing he does at the moment, and this is what I see all the time, is he drops deep and he might win a tackle every now and again. He might get a block in or an interception. He's a bloody striker. Why? We've got Aubameyang. Oh, Arteta. You're making it so, so difficult to back you right now. But do you know what? I still back him. I, I do, and I can't believe that. How can I back him after this? Pepe, where is he? Play Pepe. As soon as Pepe came on, within the first five minutes of him getting the ball on the right wing, we looked so much better. Willian, what's happened since the Fulham game? Has he done anything since? Can anyone let me know? Has he, has he actually done anything? <sighs> Partey came off at half-time. I was absolutely infuriated with that, but it turns out he's got a thigh injury, so we can't blame Arteta for taking him off. But uh, that's just more bad news. El Nenny ran a lot, though. That's good. El Nenny had a good game. He, he ran far. That, that determines whether he had a good game or not these days. Just run. Run really far. Saka did not have a good game today. Scored an own goal. Notice how I haven't even listed the goal scorers. I, I couldn't be bothered to do that today. Bellerin, poor, weak, 
indecisive, doesn't know what the hell to do half the time. Where should he be? I don't know. Where should you be, Bellerin? I don't know. That's what he looks like he's doing all the time. Just asking, where, where should I go? What do I do? It's like he's 20. Holding. Just shave your hair already. I did it when I was going bald. I, I just let it go, man. Just let it go. He was crap today. Gabrielle had a bad game. Tierney had a bad game. There's a moment in the game where Tierney literally tackles himself. He just flops on the floor, kicks his own legs. Leno didn't have a great game. Martinez had a good game, though. That's great. Oh, I'm so salty. I'm going to really regret some of the things I'm saying in this video, aren't I? I'm going to watch this back tomorrow. Do you know what? I, I just won't. I won't watch this back. But right now, this is why I always record straight after the game. You get the raw emotion. This goes down, for me, as the worst Arsenal experience in a long time. And there's been a lot of bad experiences. There's that, I mean, <laughs> there's countless games I could, I could mention. But this really does push me to the limit. After the game finished, because um, I was I was waiting for the full time whistle in case it was four nil, you know, um, I walked into Ellen's room and I, I said to her, I, I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to do watch alongs. I don't want to do reviews because what's the point? I, I make videos for fun. I stream for fun. This isn't fun. I want to be depressed on my own. I want to sit downstairs under a blanket and just cry. <laughs> I could cry during the review if you want. No. Thankfully, I don't ever get that far, okay? At the end of the day, it is just football. There's a lot of things going, going wrong in the world right now. The last thing that we should all be so upset about and worried about right now is a damn football result. Ultimately, we will finish, I think, in the top six. And a result like this goes down as just a bad day. Was this just a bad day in the office? We, we beat Manchester United, so clearly there was just something not right today because we can win tough games. Aston Villa, I, I've got to say, absolutely unbelievable. They started so well and then they lost their last two games. And everyone's thinking, OK, they're going to crumble now. Maybe Arsenal will absolutely dominate. No. Do you know what? They came to the Emirates with all guns blazing, which is what we do, right? No, 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 no. You're, you're mistaken. That's not what Arsenal do these days. We set up five defensive players at the back and then... Two defensive midfielders. Brilliant. That's what we do. Defensive at home at the Emirates against Aston Villa. Seven defensive players. That's what we do. That's what this badge is about. Defend. Defend your honour. Best defensive team in the league. Not anymore. Let's have a look, shall we? Arsenal have now conceded... 10 goals. That is worse than one, two, three, four, five, five other teams. We were the best defensive team, were we, before this game? Really? Were we? Oh, OK. Well, that's gone. But hey, at least we're not Manchester United in 14th, although they've got a game to play. So, yeah, we're going to go behind them now as well. Four wins and four losses in eight games. Someone explain how we're going to get into the top four. We're not. And I told you, this is why I don't do predictions. Everyone would have said, oh, Matt, oh, you're such a negative fan. Why aren't you putting Arsenal in the top four? Your squad's so much better. You signed Partey, man. You signed Partey. You're going to hit top four, no problem. Oh, Bamiyang, he's going to get the golden boot. No, no, none of that's going to happen. None of it is. We'll be lucky to finish in the top six. And I think we can do it. That's the craziest thing. That's the problem with this football club. You hope... You really do hope that Arsenal can pull something off. And they can't. <laughs> they can't. Oh, man. Willian. Let's talk about Willian. Um, against Fulham. Let's go back to the, the first game of the season against Fulham, where we looked actually really quite good, didn't we? Oh, it's Fulham. Don't worry. You know, the team that have basically lost every game of the season so far. Um... William was incredible. Like the, the, the gaps he was finding, the passing, the movement. And I was thinking, oh my God, no wonder Barcelona wanted him. No wonder as a free agent, loads of clubs wanted him. We got him. Oh, Edu, Arteta, you legends. But no, already I'm now seeing why Chelsea fans wanted him gone. He's crap. He's just crap. He doesn't offer anything. He's slow. 
So he can't really play as a winger. Do you know what a winger does? They take on players. They get crosses in the box. They cut inside. They shoot. They do all of this. Willian, this is an impression of Willian, okay? I'm facing the goal. I've got the ball. This is what Willian does. He does this. And then passes it back. Every time. Because he can't look at someone in front of him and go, I'm going to take you on. I'm Brazilian. I'm a Champions League winner. I've got skills. I'm going to take you... Oh, no, I can't. My legs don't work because I'm 38. Just don't play him. Pepe is the better right winger, so put him at right wing. Aubameyang is our best striker. Play him at striker. <sighs> I'm done with this review. I'm done, guys. I'm really sorry that this is such a crap video and I'm just salty. I'm sure you will love it. I'm sure you guys will really enjoy my meltdown tonight. Um, this is the worst Operation Arsenal I think I've ever made. I, I, I've given you nothing. I've literally said nothing. Arsenal gave me nothing. I gave you nothing. So you can thank the club. Thanks for watching anyway.